drones are transforming the way farmers manage their crops from pest management to fertilizer. It's a game changer. A UT grad developed an ag drone and is the CEO of Helio. Check this out. This looks like a modern war machine and this drone does go into battle, but the fight is about sending nutrients into crops and fending off agricultural pests and diseases. So think drones that are replacing crop testing airplanes and helicopters and even tractors. So they're more precise, they're safer. This is the AG-272, one of the biggest agricultural drones on the market. It has a max thrust of 600 pounds and can carry a payload of 200 pounds or about 18 gallons of liquid. And it's fully autonomous. It's pretty idiot proof, right? You're defining a, a work boundary for it to work within. You define the dosage that you want, a height that you want, a speed that you want, you press go and that's it. Just set the GPS waypoints on these drones and let them get down to business. And it can just do a lawnmower pattern, so to speak, over that and cover every square inch of the, the property. Arthur Erickson is the CEO and co-founder of Helio that designed and built the AG272. It operates using eight rotors here. These are 42 inch propellers, pure carbon fiber. The strength is important, of course, because you're lifting such a heavy payload. You have nozzles here that atomize the liquid down to a rate of about 250 to 300 microns, meaning that essentially you're spraying almost what is like a fine mist, which gives you really good penetration into the crops. This drone kit is about $80,000, but compared to traditional crop dusting methods, it's only about a fifth of the cost. Right now, they can stay up for about 15 minutes with a full payload, and the technology is always evolving. They will get more automated, meaning you're going to be deploying four or five, six of these at a time, and they're going to be mostly hands off. They're going to be refilling themselves, recharging themselves, and you as the operator are just there to do air traffic control and, and safety measures. Tackling hundreds of acres a day with more precision and safety.